today we're going to be getting into um, my top five of Luna's 2020 songs. Wow. <laughs> it was really hard <laughs> doing this. I wrote this down um, just because like I didn't know what to do. I was like, I love all their songs. Um, but I guess there are some that I do like more than the others. So I'm just like, it was, it was still kind of hard. I, I erased a lot. So we will start with number five and that's going to be... Um, that would be the first song we're starting off with. Um, with this song, it just it spoke volumes. Um, it's a very sweet song, and I don't know, everyone sounds amazing in this song. I do wish some members got more lines, but the lines that everyone got, everyone ate, left no crumbs. Um, and I really do live for the ad libs in this song. There's just uh, it's, it's so good. It's so good. You know, I really love Chews. Uh, I don't know how you would call it her falsetto slash maybe head voice or throat. I don't know what she's like. Oh, man. Like, how did, girl, I don't know what she did. I don't know how she did it. But it just, it sounded really good. And oh my God, Eve just takes my heart with this song. Every song. <laughs> but I just really love how she sings here. It sounds really beautiful. And um, Yujin, I was really surprised by her lines. <laughs> Like, mm, uh, wish she would have sung a little bit more. Same with a lot of a lot of the other members, but I do love the song as a whole. Um, yeah, and I'm just excited to see them do more songs like this, um, or even just like something like Evolved. I guess so, in the same sense of where this song was going. So I don't know. Yeah, that's number five for the list. <laughs> Let's get into number four of the list. <laughs> This song made me cry multiple times, and I'm not ashamed to say it. Okay, I was a little bit, but I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. Like, <laughs> man, when I tell you, like, this song, it. It just, it spoke to me on a lot of levels. Um, and I'm pretty sure it spoke to a lot of other people on a lot of levels too. And I was just like, um, did y'all reach my mind? Like, how did y'all get so hurt like this? Like, let's let's give each other a hug. But yeah, it was uh, it was an experience. Um, and it was a very healing song for me too, personally. I'm number three on the list are gonna go. I love, 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 love this. I've cried to this song too. Um, and li listen to the song if you ever go hiking. It's it's a great experience. Like, I live for the second chorus because they add on that like ad lib. That's enough the lyrics. So that's like one of my favorite songs from Luna, period. Um, everybody sounds great. Oh, first of all, let's talk about, let's talk about this. Let's talk about this bridge. Come on, Heejin, first of all, like, low tones. And then Yujin. <laughs> Ate that shit up. I cannot tell you how many times I replayed that part just to hear her. I was just like, wow, baby girl. Oh, baby girl, come on. Like, I always knew she had it in her. Like, she gave, she was serving high notes on her debut track, bitch. When Kiss Later, she was serving high notes there. Uh, I love that girl. And I just cannot wait to see um, how BBC is going to um, you know, take her, oop, takes her, take her growth. Um, with the music that they do um, and future albums. It's gonna be really cool to see when she starts getting like those lines, bitch. Y'all yeah, know what I mean, okay? So I'm excited for her. I'm excited for all the members. Like they all sound great here. So yeah, that's number three. <laughs> number two is gonna be.
to that sound. It sounds so good. Day and night. Day and fucking night. Day and night. What else is there to say? Like, <laughs> you're going all round and round. Going around and round. So what, bitch? That's number two. That that shit is a banger. I I live. I live and it's not even an official track. I mean it is, but it's a hidden track off of the physical album if you buy it like that. So, you know, uh, you know I use YouTube. YouTube's great. It's you know, it has it on there. And <laughs> it's a great way to listen to the song. It just sucks that it's not on the official album, but it's okay, because it's still a bop. And I wish they would promote it more. Maybe they'll promote it in the future, who knows? But Love that song. Everyone sounds amazing. Um, sometimes I get lost with who's singing what again, but everyone sounds great. I'm pretty sure you guys may have guessed it um, just because of how much I posted about it. The number one song on the list is... Wait, what, what did I say? Before we even get into, you know, what's really going on with being number one on the list, like, there's just so many layers to this shit, okay? Everyone got to shine. And I thought it was so great and such a great um, grasp at an opportunity because with them being backed by, who they're being backed back by now, you know, type of thing and getting the exposure that they're getting nowadays, it is great because having this song really shows off the talents of every single fucking member. When I tell you every single member, I mean every member. Um, and it's not them just getting, you know, little scrappy lines like, oh, here you go. We forgot. <laughs> Here's like two lines. Oh, shit. She, oh, give her an ad lib. She'll be good. Like, no. They actually got the same here. I love it. I love it. I was, you guys seen it. I was gagged when I saw that. We got vocalists in the group who really usually just get the subpar lines and they came and showed the fuck out, okay? Hyojin, Yojin, go on. Like, I was just, I was, oh, everybody, Vivi. She sounded good, like, it's, we know Vivi can sing. We know all of them can sing because of their solos. Um, so I'm really glad that BBC took that charge and that change, um, especially with the promoted track. Like, it was really cool to see. Um, and man, besides that, the whole concept around it is amazing, okay? You know, the video, I was I was in love with it. The song, it's a beautiful fucking song. Even the English version, like I had to, I was like, which one do I like more? <laughs> and I do like both of them equally. Like I do, sometimes when I'm singing voice, I'll sing uh, close to me, you're all of me. Like instead of the Korean like lyrics, and then when I was singing to the English version, I'll, I'll sing the Moksodi instead with the English version. It's weird. I don't understand. Come on, bilingual. Props to the, um, the producers of the song, um, the way they worked with their voices, it wasn't, you know, there wasn't a lot of heavy instruments going on or anything trying to alter their voices, which I really liked. It was a lot of naturalness going on. It wasn't anything too forced, um, you know, that was maybe a little too high pitched or anything. Every like member sounded like they were in their comfortable register, comfortable, nope, their comfortable register. Um, and they were just hitting things so well, so nice. Vibrato really stuck out to me in the song. Um, just, it's, it's so well executed. Um, I would say like, the one who really stuck out to me was uh, Hyojin. She, like when she came in for her first chorus, it, oh my gosh. When she said uh, the Moksori, she just adds a lot of strength and resonance right there. And it's just, it's so beautiful to listen to. I've had to go back and like, just listen to it. I'm just like, wow, wow girl, you are so talented. And this voice is, that girl for me for 2020 for Luna songs. So be sure to leave your top five Luna songs and even some honorable mentions if you want to in the comments below and let's share it with each other and I will talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like the video, it helps the channel a lot. And don't forget to share it as well and subscribe if you're not subscribed and hit that notification bell also so that you're notified whenever I upload new videos. All right, bye. See ya. <laughs>